my background looks a mess. I don't even care. As I clean it up. Yeah, you do care, girl. It's okay. Just admit it. I'm finally live. Hello. I wait for people to show up per usual. That light is kind of washing me out. What's a girl to do? Hmm. Yeah, she's a little better. She's a little better. We're in the corner. Hello. Hi, Debbie. Hi, Right Dreamer. Thank you guys for joining me. I'm a little late, kind of. A little bit. Hi, Ashley. Hi, Posh with Pets. I need some chapstick. Hello, Abby. Um, let me, like, fix my screen. I was very unprepared before I started this. I like went and fixed my hair. I'm like, I don't, can you tell I fixed it? Mm, not really. It's fine though, it's fine. Ohio, it's like felt so good today. The weather was actually very, very nice. I'm a fan. Um, it seems like you guys got the notification. Usually people don't show up till like the two, three minute mark. Um, is this my receipt? Yes. Okay. I'm gonna start at like the two minute mark. I feel like the people who are usually here are here for the most part. Um, I have three giant bags next to me. I couldn't even get all of them in the thumbnail. Hello, Linda. And Maria. Nashville was nice too. I didn't even wear a jacket to work. Yeah, like it's like sweater weather outside. Like I could wear this easily outside and walk to the store. Okay, we're at the two minute mark. This haul's gonna be long, so like I don't wanna keep you all night. I look very tired. Mm, the bags. Um, anyways, I got 70 items for $108. So pretty good amount. Um Four of the items, so I guess it's not 70 items for resale, because four of the items are for my niece. And then I think I bought one thing for myself or something like that. And then I found a flaw in one of the items, so that went in my donate bag. So we're like 65 items, something like that. But I will go ahead and start. I have this bag, um, another bag, and then another bag. The first bag is items that. I listed and then they're like my next set of items I'm going to be listing. I already detagged them. So yeah, I'll go through the items that I'm, that I already listed. I think it's like 10 of them that I listed today. I took photos yesterday of them. So it's like I have 70 items. I should probably start on this as soon as possible. Um, okay, we will go ahead and start. This is the first item. I seen this item when I was leaving. It was like on the go back rack. It's a 1X, so I figured why not? But it's just a little floral short sleeve top. Like she's pretty basic. I get most items for 80 cents, so it doesn't really matter. Um, but there goes a tag, Jennifer Lopez. Probably sell like 15 to 20. I sold a pair of gap pants today for I put it on my Instagram for $25 like just right out and I paid 80 cents so with my profit like 1920 and I did not think those were gonna sell because honestly like I would have took like a $15 offer for those but you never know that's why I buy it all I know Heather I'm so happy hi Nicole I'm so happy that they actually sent out the notification this time because usually I'm like sitting here alone by myself still and it's pretty awkward and sad um, so this is H&M, size 10, basic, gray and black, single button blazer. Uh, I really like this blazer. This is Talbot's blazer. I listed it for 35. It's an extra large. It's 100% wool. And it's a little asymmetrical zip, like, blazer jacket, like, sweater blazer. She's cute. The lighting is getting all weird. I hate it whenever I show blue, the lighting breaks out. Oh, uh, what else did I list? I listed these, but they're kind of flawed. I don't know. It's really like weird. 
I've realized I don't look over items the best when I'm at the store. <laughs> Which is okay. It's fine. Um, okay. So these are a new day. I'm trying to like speed through this a little bit because I have a lot. Target brand basic brown and black cropped houndstooth pants. Hi, Jojo. Hi, Brian decided. I'm glad blazers do well for you. I can't sell one to save my life. I'm, but I mean, you guys got to think about how many blazers I have. Like they got to be selling. I got so many. Let me like try to fold these up because they're already listed. And then I'm like working twice. These they're Chico stretch size 12 black wide leg. They're basic probably sell around 15. These are Ann Taylor gray cropped. These are a double zero petite, but I find that usually people that buy like that size will bundle cropped basic. I'm trying to think of like what recent blazers I sold. Um, I just got that Armani Collezioni blazer with that last week. I don't know. The weeks are flying by. It's like a velvet blazer with that like ribbon detail that sold, um, for $50. And it was flawed. That sold on Poshmark. I had another blazer too that just sold for like a decent amount of money. These are Talbots, for Petite, boot cut. Might sell, might not sell. We don't know. We take chances. Boot cut, red, velour, pants. I really like Talbots though, so I don't care what anybody else has to say. Um, This is probably the best item out of the items that I've listed so far. Is this coat? And it didn't have a price on it, so they priced it for me when I checked out Um, at $8, which I was fine with. It's a Saks Fifth Avenue coat. Um, and it's 50% alpaca, 50% wool. And somebody has this coat listed for 165 on eBay and they have that the MSRP is 595. I don't know where they got that from. Um, but it's a nice little indicator. I listed it for 99 on Poshmark. We're getting out of coat season. I mean, kind of. So... We'll see what it sells for. I paid eight bucks. I'm not too pressed. It has two buttons and it's missing like the inner button. You guys know that like inner button that you have to put over here. It's missing that, but that can be replaced. I mean, that's not a big deal. It's still a really nice coat and it's wool and alpaca. It's a size large. Um, oh, and this, I got this 80 cents. Cause it was hundred percent wool and it's extra large. It's vintage. We'll see if it sells, but it's just like a zip up jacket. It's not like that itchy wool or anything, but we'll see. Um, this is like the next set of items that I'm listing. <laughs> Hi, Amanda. <laughs> Hi, Jen. Hi, Jamie. Um, this is the next set of items that I'm going to be listing. Uh, I've taken the price tags off these. So zero petite banana republic basic blue and white. She has like a little little flutter cap sleeve. She's cute. Oh, I should probably set these somewhere else because I'm listing these. Um, those are gonna go on the couch. This is another banana republic dress, and this is like a dumb old tag. There goes the tag. And it's outlet, but it's an extra large. So, and it's not like it's like a dumb old style. I mean, you could still wear this today. It's just a really old Banana Republic piece, but 80 cents, extra large. I'll buy it. Let's see what year it is. I'm going to guess like a 06. 09. Okay, I'm happy it's not 06. 09. Mm, all right. We'll see what it sells for. Um, I got this. She was 80 cents. Y'all know the drill. It's new with tags to Dashi Shoji. So I'm like, okay. Um, she is a vintage piece. Might just put her on auction for like $24.99 on eBay and see what the hell happens. 
But it's like this. I don't know. I don't know. Long sleeve, um, ruched front, collared, metallic top. I don't know. She's a UK size 14. She's a size 12. Professional dry clean only. There's no price tag, but she's new with tags. And she was 80 cents. So I'll take her. Um, let me make sure she don't fall on the ground because under my couch sure is dusty. Um, Melody, list your coats. What are you doing? List the coats. Just like shipping them with the extra cost. Um, try to sell them on Poshmark. That's like the best thing, selling coats on Poshmark, because $6.59 up to five pounds, like you cannot beat that. I just shipped, man, what was it? And I paid $18 to ship it too, and I was kind of pissed, but everything's a lesson, no point in dwelling on things. Um, I wish the item would have sold on Poshmark. I wouldn't have had to come out. I had to come out of pocket like $8 because I only charged the person, I think, $9.99 for shipping. But try to sell it on Poshmark. Um, <clears throat> this is, don't know this brand, Lemmy for Nina Leonard. It's a size large. They, they put out the dresses at my thrift store, so I'm like a little dress happy. You know, I haven't really bought dresses in months, which is why I started buying pants to make up for the lack of inventory. Um, so now I'm buying lots of dresses, pants, skirts, and blazers, anything that um, in my price range. So my inventory is growing. I'm about to be at 700. I just hit 600 and I'm at like 680, I think right now. I listed 70 items last week. Who would have thunk it? I don't know where I got that energy from. Hopefully it happens again this week. So far I'm at 10. Um, I think it will happen because I got a lot of shit and um, I know I'm going to owe money on my taxes. I don't even want to think about taxes because I haven't started them yet. So we're not going to. We're going to continue the haul. I'm not going to rant to you guys. Um, let me buy Neil Leonard. Yeah, we don't care or know about her. She doesn't really matter. Um, but she was 80 cents and she's a large and I think I only have one large bin. No, I might have two. Um, yeah, basic dress. She's whatever. Uh, Amanda up Richard resale all over the place. It's a size small. There goes that, uh, probably a hundred percent silk. Let's see. So then I won't have to check again. Yes, it's 100% silk. Blue and white patterned print, whatever. Is that a modesty button? Nope. So that's, yeah, you got a V-neck. There's no undoing that. You got to be modest. A little basic dress, 80 cents, 100% silk. Oh, Adriana Papel. We love her. This is a 14. Navy blue floral short sleeve dress. She has like this little ruch detailing on the side. You know, if you got a little gut, you hide her a little bit. There she goes. This is like midi length. Same print on the back. Who's going to sell their iPhone if they win it? I need a new iPhone. I was literally looking at that today. Like what would be the odds that I win the iPhone and then I don't have to buy a new one? But I'm not going to want it. We can hope. Loose thread. I'm just going to go ahead and pull her out. Um, thank you, Jen. I've been trying. Slowly but surely. This is Isaac Mizrahi. I'm not sure the... Like, the different lines. I know there's Isaac Mizrahi Live, which is like QVC or HSN, one of them. But this is not live. This is just straight up. Um, it's like a seafoam green, sea foam green short sleeve, like lace overlay dress. Y'all know the type. Y'all know the type. She was 80 cents. So I got her. Uh, I got a pile of pants here. Beautiful, beautiful, lovely pants. They've been selling for me. I now have four bins. I literally went from zero bins of pants to four bins since 
November. But it's okay because it's all money. So this is what else I'm going to be listing either today or tomorrow. It might get listed tonight depending on how I feel. I feel like I've been working so much because I've been bored. <laughs> bored as hell. But I don't want to leave my house. So it's like might as well work. I'm just like waiting for Devin to come home. You feel me? Slowly but surely. I got a lot more months. Okay. Hello, Ciro. Hello, Mr. Diggs. Ooh, okay, I just hit my desk. So this is the rest of the stuff that I'm listing today, tomorrow, whenever. And then probably it's going to be today or tomorrow. And then I'll go through the rest. LuLaRoe, extra small. I thought the print was cute. There were a couple of LuLaRoe pieces for 80 cents that I left behind. I didn't really care for the styles or prints. But I thought this was cute. It's like a striped floral. Um, so I got that. I got these Theory pants, which are really nice. They're size 6, and they're like the newer label Theory. And they're tweed. Uh, they might be cropped. I'm not sure. It's hard to tell. But they're like a tweed, speckled pant. They're probably wool. Um, and they should have a style number so I can easily find a stock photo. Oh, they're viscose cotton polyamide elastane and 4% silk just for shits and giggles. Because why not? Um, no one retail on these. They could have made these wool. There goes those, though. I think I paid $4.50 for these. So I didn't pay 80 cents for them, but they're theory pants, so. Um, oh, trust me, Megan, I'm not giving away no iPhone. No, ma'am. Um, Poshmark is, though, if you list stuff. Yeah. Nope. I'm poor. Sorry. Lo siento. Uh, this is Loft Outlet. They're six petite gray cropped. Basic. I always get like corduroy and velour mixed up now that I've done dealt with so many damn, damn pants. These are frame. I've never found frame pants before. There was a tag and they're white. I'm sure I'll find a spot on them or something. They're size 26. Um, and they're just like a straight leg pant. I figured, why not? I've never found frame, and I don't know. Maybe somebody is in search of those bad boys. I thought these were really cute. They're uh, Judith Hart vintage floral corduroys. I think they're so cute. There goes the prints. They're like a green. They're not floral. They're paisley. Like a paisley floral. Yeah. Corduroys. Judith Hart, size 8, vintage pants. Oh, Ashton, you're fine. What did you get from Target? Spill. The beans. Um, Did I shop Play-Dohs? No, these are from my local thrift store, my favorite, for, uh, my favorite thrift store. I'm happy you could catch me live, too. They're from my... I'm stumbling over my words. They're from my favorite thrift store. My main thrift store. Our Play-Doh's closet, uh, she's okay. I used to work for the clothes mentor and they're right next to each other. So not that it's like weird when I go there, but it kind of is. But they're closing that clothes mentor, which kind of sucks. I don't really go there, but it's just kind of like, dang, now there's only going to be one clothes mentor like in the area at all. And you know, that just kind of, like, sucks that, like, all these businesses are shutting down. But, I mean, what can you do? These are loft, too petite, cute little stretchy pant with a little zip uh, detail. Um, Oh, Megan, are you local? They're closing the one in Akron. <laughs> They're closing the one in Akron, unfortunately. They sent out a text saying that they were closing their buying counter. And I'm like, 
why would y'all be closing your buying counter? Um, and then I went on their Facebook and people were asking them, like, are you guys closing? They're like, yeah. It's like, y'all should have said something. But I guess, you know, it'll probably be a while. They have a lot of inventory on the floor. And then you got to think about all the back stock. I mean, rotating inventory. So I don't know. Maybe they'll send that inventory to Canton. Maybe they'll sell it there. I'll be waiting around for the sales. I've never heard of Newcomer's Town. Um, but yeah, they're closing. It sucks. I don't really go there anymore, but still... Like, just to lose another business in that plaza. Um, they just did put a Ross in Akron, though, which is cool. I haven't been there yet. These are American Eagle. Y'all know I'll buy them if they're 80 cents. They're a black skinny jean, size zero. They're a zero long. Interesting. And they sure are long, too. Um, And then these are Banana Republic, size four. A nice dark chocolate brown dress pant for the office. Um, okay, so that is the rest of what I... I'm going to set this over here because it's a nice pile. Let's not get all crazy. Uh, that's the rest of the stuff that I'm listing today or tomorrow. And then we're on to the next bag. Um, I definitely have been slowing down on blazers. Lots of blazers I leave behind, but this was 80 cents and it's Sag Harbor, my good sis. So I got her. Um, she's 100% wool, light brown, single button, oversized. It'll sell between 15 and 25. You never really know at Sag Harbor. Yeah, let me put these in this bag. That way I don't have stuff all over my floor like I do every time I have a hole. Um, okay. Oh, your daughter's in gymnastics. That's so cute. How is it? Is it exciting? I can only imagine watching a bunch of little kids just tumble. Uh, this is Worthington, which is another brand that, like, I never know what it's going to sell for. Because even though Worthington is, like, whatever, JCPenney's. I've had it sell for, like, all over the place. Um, it's new with tags, though. Size small. Black single button blazer. Probably retailed for, what, 49 or 76 One of those. JCPenney's favorite numbers. This is Ann Taylor. Size 4. Basic double button blazer. It's pretty long. And then I got this cute little black loft skirt. Uh, size extra large. Actually, I might fit this, so I'm going to put it to the side because if I fit this, I'm going to keep it. But it's like a stretch. Um, ribbed, textured, black skirt. Yeah, we're going to set this over here because I'm going to try that on. <laughs> Oh, I really, oh, I got the cutest Target dress. I don't even care that it's Target. It's so cute. What was that? Oh, my, um, uh, Ring or the Neighbors app. We love living over here and getting crime alerts all the time. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm just, like, unpacking this bag because who wants to keep bending down? Okay. Another little row. This pattern's whatever. Um, she's like a starburst. Like multicolor. And then it's the butter soft material. Multicolor. I'm not sure. I think, is this a Julia? I'm not sure. But my best friend likes these. And I sell her things for like dumb cheap if I can find something in her size. Um... The thrifting in Akron is probably, I'm not going to say that. I'm not going to say that. Listen, I don't need everybody coming to Akron to thrift. I'm just fucking with you. But uh, <laughs> the thrifting in Akron from the places I've been to in Canton, Akron's probably better. But I don't know. You probably know like some hidden gems in Canton maybe. But you're not even from Canton. You're from Newcomers Town. Um, yeah, because Canton, like the Goodwill in Canton, Blit. 
the Goodwill Outlet in Canton, bleh, the Clothes Men are in Canton, bleh, don't really care for them. That That's not, it's not shade. I just don't really care for them. Um, yeah, Canton Thrifting, mm, Akron, I, don't, I only go to one thrift store a week. <laughs> that's it. I go to one thrift store a week. And I can find from minimum 30 to 100 items, which to me is a blessing. And I'm not the only reseller there. So it's like, imagine if I was. Oh, it would be beautiful. Beautiful. But I'm not. We must share. I didn't know this was new, um, which is great. It's loft. Originally $60. I got it because it was loft and it was 80 cents. And she's cute. Um, little print, zip detail, skirt. I'm just like reading comments, sorry. Oh, thank you, Andrea. I like, I'm not even on Poshmark throughout the day. I'll just like get on and share my closet and get off so I don't be noticing stuff, sorry. My lighting is like trash. Um, and then eBay, I don't know if you guys have been experiencing this, but eBay hasn't been like sending my phone notifications. I thought maybe I need to update the app. Maybe I need to restart my phone. Like I've tried everything and I will see like offers in my emails in the morning when I go to print my labels, when I'm randomly in the app. It's so weird. I don't know why they just decided to randomly stop sending me my notifications. Um, I go to a good one. Can't, can't think what street it's on. I, I suck with streets too. I couldn't even tell you the good one I go to in Canton. I've been there a couple times. I just hate Goodwill prices. Like, you want me to pay $4.99 for each dress? Like, that's ridiculous. <laughs> it's really ridiculous. Um, and that's cheap. Like some people's Goodwill's dresses start at like ten dollars. No, no, ma'am. This is not a thrift store. This is highway robbery. You got these items for free. Like, mm -mm. a lot of people get scammed on eBay, but it's like don't don't let that one experience. Maybe it wasn't just one experience, so let me not. Um, if you had mm, a lot, maybe you should. But if you only have, like, one, don't let that put a, like, sour taste in your mouth. There's a lot of money to be made on eBay. It's a lot of people on eBay. Um, this is a New Day Target brand. Size small. But the dress is so cute. It's sleeveless. And it has, like, this pleated hem she's really cute um hopefully i can find a stock photo but if not it should fit my mannequin it better fit my mannequin loft green sweater dress with a little peplum peplum sweater dress short sleeve basic uh gilly i think is the name Gilly? I'm not familiar with this brand. <laughs> what St. John piece did you buy? <laughs> Here goes the tag. Uh, 80 cents. Little print romper. She's like that, like stretch. Um, really soft. Like I would kill if this fit me. I would die if this fit me. Um. I would just lounge in the house in it. Um, but yeah, she's cute. Oh, Gilly Stitch Fix. Thank you, Teresa. Have I thought about thrifting in Cleveland? The thrift stores I've been to in Cleveland have been ass as well. So it's just like, why travel for trash? You feel me? Um, when I could just get the trash in Akron. So but maybe one day I've been thinking about doing DoorDash and I know that like 
the more populated an area is, like the more food places, you know, but Cleveland has enough DoorDash drivers, so there's really no reason for me to be up in Cleveland doing DoorDash. But that's why I brought that up. Um, but no, I don't go to Cleveland to go thrifting. It's always been trash every time I go. Oh, my mom's texting me. Okay, this is, yeah, like, I would love to go to Portland to thrift, to L.A., to Colorado. Me and Devin are going to Colorado when he comes back. I'm really excited for that. I hopefully will go thrifting when I'm there. I don't know. I just don't want to deal with, like, shipping stuff back. But I'm sure I think Denali has a video about, like, shipping things when she travels and thrifts that I could watch. Um because uh, it's just like a treasure chest in Colorado, it seems like. I will definitely come to Chicago one day, Amanda. Me and Devin actually are like planning a trip to Chicago because his dad lives there. So I will keep you in mind when I go out there. I will definitely keep you in mind. Um, this is Dana Bushman, Bookman. 100% silk, little mustard, uh, skirt, basic, 80 cents, uh, Outback Red. I've never resold Outback Red, but I liked this skirt. It was 80 cents, and it, oh, I thought I was missing a button. I was about to be pissed. <laughs> I was about to be so pissed. Oh, I was about to be so pissed. Okay. She's cute. She's like a little butt front. Is a double breasted skirt a thing? I'm not sure, but I thought she was fashionable. Girl, Jojo, you are a mess. What type of liquor are you buying? Bam, it is a Monday. <laughs> I'm just messing with you. <laughs> oh, I'm an hour from Cleveland. <laughs> this is Express size zero pencil skirt I just sold um an Ann Taylor skirt just like this today for 20 on eBay so I have high hopes for Miss Express here I really would love to come to Chicago I've never been to Chicago yep never been to Chicago never even been to Illinois in general uh and I've actually been to, like, a decent amount of states. I'm kind of well-traveled to be 22. <laughs> this is a uh, Gap. And Gap skirts are, like, this will probably go on auction. Size 28. It's a black corduroy mini skirt. Like, I'll probably list it for 20 and then put it on auction for $4.99. And see what happens. Uh, I don't know about all that. Jojo's friend. <laughs> yeah, Amanda, when I come, definitely. Like, I will set aside multiple days. Because that would literally be so fun. This is the limited size zero black and white print. Cute little pencil skirt. I got a decent amount of skirts. Last week, I don't think I got any. I had got blazers because um, there's another reseller and she went through the skirts. I got like a couple of them. But this week, I got a decent amount. Ann Taylor size four, tweed, multicolor, green, silver, zip back, um, loft, zero petite. This is an older tag. But nonetheless, pencil skirt. She has like a little ribbon trim at the top. Or it's called like gross grain or some shit like that. Oh, I really like this skirt. And I have high hopes for this skirt because Bowden usually fares well with me. Bowden size six. There goes. Mm. Mm. Can you see her a little bit? There she goes. <laughs> Bowden size six, navy blue corduroy skirts. Bam. Um, 
I've seen like a lot of like new names. I do appreciate you guys for joining me um, and for asking questions. I know there are a lot of people who just watch and don't say anything. So I really do appreciate it. Um, Kyle, it'll sell. Don't be a hater. Um, do I do state sales? Like, 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 uh, like house sales, like going through people's houses? No, I've never done one of those. I signed up for that website. Is it called like estate net, estate sales.net, some shit like that. But to be honest, I'm a creature of habit. I really am. And boy, do I love going to the same thrift store every Sunday at 11 a.m. It is just a beautiful thing. Um, maybe one day I'll do an estate sale. Is this stuff for Posh? What average sale price do I shoot for? Everything goes on Poshmark first. So everything's always for Poshmark. Um, what average sale price do I shoot for? Over $10 profit. A bitch will be happy. I get most things for 80 cents. So I get most things for 80 cents and I list most things for $25. So if they sell for what I list them at, that's a profit of $19.20 without taxes, which is a really good profit to flip 80 cents into that. Um, but I'm happy with, um, like over $10 profit for real. Cause it's like bread and butter stuff. Like the fact that those gap pants sold for $25 a day plus six seventy nine dollars shipping, like somebody paid $33 for used gap pants. And like, that blows my mind. I'm very appreciative, but, um, you know, I take best offers for a reason. Cause I mainly sell bread and butter items. I just list things at 25 cause I expect people to, you know, hit me with the 15, hit me with the 20, hit me with the 18, the 22. Um, but I appreciate a good full price sale. This is banana Republic size six black. I really like the detail. I've been trying to stray away from basic, basic, basic ass skirts. Um, but that little little bow or whatever, little ruffle, little waterfall, she's cute. I appreciate her. Um, yeah, I know like sometimes it's regular people's houses and sometimes it's like people who have passed, right? Houses. And I just, I mean, I would like to do it, but yeah, it's definitely an experience. No, Kyle, I know you're not trying to be a hater. I'm just fucking with you. <laughs> um, I'm literally just fucking with you. Um, calm down. Um, yeah, no, I know there are some people who do that. That's just not my game. That's not my my strategy. My strategy. That's not my strategy. I was thinking about categories. Um, mm, 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 mm. there's a difference between appropriate Poshmark inventory and appropriate eBay inventory. Uh, true and false. Things sell where people are. I mean, uh, this is Tallulah. It says Tallulah 4. I'm not sure what Tallulah 4 is, but Tallulah is Aritzia. That's why I got it. And it's just like a lace mini skirt. It's probably not going to sell for much, but it's a red sea, so it will sell. But I don't know what Tallulah 4 is. Um, this, I really don't like paying up for like blazers because I have so many. But this one lady I cross list for sells Lauren Ralph Lauren blazers for like good ass money. So I'm just like, maybe I need to see what I can do. So... And I mean, I've sold Lauren Ralph Lauren blazers for good money before. Like, I, I got one for like 80 cents and I sold it for like 45 or 50 on Poshmark. Um, but I got it for 80 cents. This I paid, I think, $6 for, which still isn't like paying up. It's just not what I like to pay for my inventory because I'm a cheap bitch. So, um, I don't. This is 100% wool, I'm pretty sure. I was looking for the tag. But I'm pretty sure it's 100% wool if I paid up for it. And it's a gray double button blazer. Um, I'll probably list this for 50 on Poshmark and then for like 80 on eBay just to see what happens. I don't know this brand. 
if Devin was here, this is something that like I'd give to him. Uh, but Devin's not here, so we'll see what happens. It's Mark Law Luxury. It was 80 cents. I'm pretty sure it's men's. Um, I'm pretty sure. And it's just like a cardigan. Like a basic cardigan. Yeah, and it's big for it to be a large. Uh, Ann Taylor Loft, a 14 tall. I don't think I have any other 14 talls in my closet right now. Um, so here goes one. It's like a dark brown open front blazer with a little pleated detailing in the back. Oh, vintage electronics. Oh, I would not even want to deal with that. I tried to dip my feet into hard goods and just not my jam. Hello. Oh, I got a burp. Sorry. Not burp. Like when I talk too much, aka when I do hauls, I get like all this. Maybe it is a burp. I get all this like air trapped. It's probably a burp. Um, cute little printed dress. I'm pretty sure it's a Hawaiian brand. Aloha Republic made in Hawaii, size large, 100% cotton. Cute little dress. The lady I crossed was for just sold a vintage bark cloth. Um, Hawaiian dress for like $85 on eBay and I had just cross listed it for her and I was so shocked like girl what and it's just it's so crazy what sells for what like you really never know I love cross listing for her she's so sweet um okay I have one bag left that's what I'm going through now we shouldn't be here too much longer um yeah see I don't do returns <laughs> If I did returns, I'd probably have more sales because I know that's, like, enticing. But I just don't want to deal with it. This is BCBG Generation. It's a sleeveless um, dress. It has this little, like, mesh panel cutout. My mom keeps texting me. Cute. Cute. Uh, this brand I looked up when I was there, and most of the listings that are posted are like $25 to $50, so I paid like two bucks. It's Neves Lavi, New York. It reminds me of, um, I'm not going to be able to pull that name up out of my head. It's like a very similar fabric they do all their stuff in. And I sold one of their dresses really quick. And so did um Paula. Um I can't think of the name. Tyler. Tyler something. Tyler Bowen, Tyler something. Anyways, this is a size four, and it's like a print spaghetti strap dress. Um, it's a pretty basic dress. I'm not sure what the Hype is or resale or why they are listed um, higher. Let me text this lady back. Because she is blowing my phone up. Uh, Forever 21, size small. It's like a plaid long sleeve. Um, it's like one of those long cardigans with a belt. It's super cute. Cute, cute, cute. <laughs> yes, yeah, Teresa, thank you. That, that's who I was talking about. Um, would you ever do a how to resell video for beginners? Probably not. 
Sorry. Oh my goodness. I'm just gonna like if you ever want to watch anything, I'll just like send you to somebody I trust and um who has a wide array of videos. <clears throat> mm. Because I just I don't know, like I've thought about doing videos like that and I don't not that like I don't know, I don't wanna mm. Sometimes I think like bad, not think bad about like my business, but it's like, you know, some people have like really high, um, average sales profits or do like crazy months or anything. And like, sometimes I think like, like I do hauls just to show you guys what I'm selling, but it's kind of like, I don't know. Like sometimes I don't really feel qualified to be telling people stuff. But then again, it's like, who the fuck is qualified to tell, you know, anybody how to resell? Like, I've made over $30,000 reselling. Like, I think that's a decent qualification of me, you know, reselling clothes. But I don't know. It's just weird. It's a weird relationship. Sometimes, I, and it's because I sell, like, bread and butter items or more, like, unconventional items. But shit that's like what's available to me like I gotta I can't sit around and wait for free people or urban outfitters or designer stuff like I can't I'll be broke I'll be right back uh work at retail somewhere I'm not trying to do that um in anthropology look speaking of anthropology I did find a piece they only priced it at five dollars somehow um so I got a 20% off five Mave size two and it is a shift dress. It has this funky print. Just a mini shift dress, basic. Um, oh, th <laughs> thank you. I just, I don't like, not that like I'm not like qualified. It's just like, I don't know. I think it's just because like I sell like, you know, like, like my closet isn't, like the cutest or but it's kind of like who cares my bills are paid you feel me um i guess i am i'm you like low-key i am quality like i've had some people tell me and i that's probably why i said that look let me let other people's opinions affect me i shouldn't do that i've had some people tell me like i'm unqualified before but it's just kind of like Mm, I have a fashion degree. Mm, I worked at a resale store. Mm, I think maybe I am a little qualified. Um, but then, you know, sometimes you don't think you are. It's just life. We love that. Um, this is Love Your Assets by Sarah Blakely, who is the Spanx lady. Um, and Spanx resells for great, great, great amount of money. And it's an extra large bathing suit top. This was, I think, in the pants. Because I was not going through bathing suits. And I seen it. And said, why not? I did not look this brand up. I put it in my cart to look up. Um, it's Paul Ka. I'll leave it there if anybody has ever heard of it. It's so a size 30. I got it because the sizing was like, um, it's like a 38, like French, European, whatever. It's a cute dress. It's a blue sleeveless dress and it has like, is this a drop waist? No. She's cute though. She's a line. I don't know what the fabric is, but this could be some cheap ass boutique brand or it could be some money. This tag is giving me boutique. She's giving me wish. She's serving Zaffle. Um, it's cotton. I did pay. I paid $2 for this. She's so cute. That tag wasn't promising, though. I will tell you that. Uh, that swimsuit top is an extra large. Uh, thank you, City Girl Scores, again. I, like, keep reading that. And I really do appreciate it. Um, this is the Finders Keepers. Um, no, it's not. 
I just lied to y'all. This is a really mm, okay. So she's not Lil Wish, Zaffle, Sheehan brand. I figured if she wasn't, she was gonna be like expensive retail, shitty resale. Um, we'll see though. This is keepsake, not finders keepers. Keepsake. Uh, keepsake the label. This is called their Botanic Floral Ivory Long Division Play Suit. Uh, and I paid $8 for this. But it is a play suit. Uh, or what I feel like us Americans call a romper. And it has a cute little tie front. Unless there really is a difference between play suit and romper, but I'm pretty sure it's just like a geographic thing. But she's cute. I paid up for her, but I'm pretty sure keepsake is like worth some money. And if not, she's a floral new tag romper at the end of the day. Um, I got this and maybe shouldn't have. Uh, it'll probably go on auction. It'll probably be one of my pieces that... We'll go on auction, but I don't have any kids items. And I was just like, hmm, maybe like somebody will buy this for their daughter and be like, oh, let me see if I can buy something for me and find something for themselves. I don't know. But it's an extra large cat and jack um dress. It was 80 cents. It's a kid's dress. A kid's a girl's extra large. Um, cat and jack dresses retail for like kids dresses retail around 20 probably so I'll list that for like 15. Uh this is Peach Love California looks like a boutique brand or like something they'd sell at like TJ Maxx or maybe PacSun. But it is a blue floral sleeveless romper with a little tie waist detail. Uh, this is the dress that I put on my Instagram that had a really high retail value. It's by a brand called Lem Lem by Leva Cavetti. Um, this is the brand. Just because I know, like, y'all can't see these tags the best. And it is a... I was going to say pretty basic dress, but I can't figure it out as I'm sitting here. Yeah, you guys, is what is that? An uh, animal? I didn't really look at it when I was in the store. I was like, oh, good brand. Striped dress. Summertime. <laughs> and I put it in the cart. <laughs> like, that is literally, <laughs> literally my train of thought. It has pockets. Um, that's good. Yeah, you guys see the dress. I don't need to see it show it to you anymore. Cute little Banana Republic dress, older tag, but still cute. She's a size four. Sleeveless. I like this print. Cute. Um, I got this Aeropostale dress. This will go on auction. It's just like a shift dress. It reminds me of like Beach Lunch Lounge. It has like a tie-up detail. Basic, like $4.99 auction. Um, I've never bought any athletic dresses to resell that I can recall. But this was in the dresses and it was $0.80. Cents, and I figured, why not? It's by a brand called MPG. I don't know if they're good, bad, Walmart. I don't know. But it's like a workout dress, black and blue. And it has this, um, like, racerback illusion, like, mesh thing. I'm getting tired. Can anybody tell? We're 55 minutes in. <laughs> oh, I only have, um, maybe, like, 10 items left. Oh, is it not the, um, the expensive brand that I posted? I'd be salty if it wasn't. Um, a, a girl messaged me though, talking about how the designer was an African um, creator. 
I hate this rug. I keep getting snatched on it. <laughs> Love you, JoJo. Make good choices. You can watch the replay. Have fun. Don't get too turnt on a Monday night. Or get turnt, because why not? YOLO. Um, yeah, okay, a couple items left. I did get a lot of items this week, Jamie. <laughs> um, I got 70 items. This is H&M size uh, 12. Say, is that a button? Yeah, oh, it's a snap. Snap front. She's cute, for real. <laughs> Sorry, me talking to myself. Um, brown blazer. I was just thinking, like, this is actually a really cute blazer. <laughs> um, brown houndstooth, H&M. Another Worthington, size 6. Black single button. Um, and Taylor, size large. This is like a plum purple. It's a weird uh, material, and it's a it's a weird shaped dress, man. Um, it's 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 weird. She's weird. I hope I can find a stock photo. I she's like I can't explain this material. Um, but yeah, purple purple dress, eighty cents, and Taylor can't beat it. Oh, LuLaRoe, solid black, a fan. This might be something my best friend wants. Yeah, I am still here. It's, it's, Sam, you made it. <laughs> Sam, I am 56 minutes in. I got a few items I can show you, but you're probably going to have to watch the replay. <laughs> uh, Lula Row, extra small, all black. Carly. Cute. Um, I don't know this brand, but it was 80 cents. I think it's Charlie Jade. Yeah, Charlie Jade. Size medium. Like a polyester dress. Basic. Multicolor. Elastic waist. Um, oh shit. I'm dropping stuff. Ugh. You're fine, Sam. I can only imagine. Two kids under two. Woo. It sounds fun, but not fun at the same time. But, like, so cute. Like, being around a baby all day. Trying to keep things from falling again. Um, Love you too, Sam. I do appreciate you. Making it to the live. You'll, you can watch the replay soon. I got two items left. Uh, this is, oh, another peach love item. This is not another peach love item. I set this over there after I uh, showed you guys it. So I have one item left, which is a new attacks free people item. Did I pay up? How much did I pay? I paid $8. Okay. That's not bad. We the free size medium new attacks. Because I figured if I seen this for $8, I do remember. Because I was like, if I seen this for, oh, it's not even a dress. They just irritated me. It's got a big old slit in the back. This is a tunic. Oh. Well, anyways, I figured if I seen this at TJ Maxx for $8, I'd pick it up to resell. So why not buy it from the thrift store for $8? Just because I'm used to, you know, getting it for cheaper. Because, they, look, they wanted 20 yeah, that's where the joke was, but blue was half off, so, and I get 20% off, because I have a college ID, so I got her for $8, but, yeah, they wanted 20 tripping, that's why she's been there for a couple of weeks, um, that is all I have, yes, I'm very tired, um, oh, Maddie, yeah, you might want to go to urgent care or something, Honestly, you might have like an allergic reaction or something, or who knows. Oh, thank you, Wisco Thrifter. That is so nice. Thank you. That is so nice. Thank you. 
when people compliment me, <laughs> oh, you should see it in person. It's even more awkward. Not awkward. I just can't receive compliments. Thank you. I appreciate that. Um. Yeah, dude, Maddie. Yeah, dude, go to urgent care or something. Or call, um, maybe call them and even see if they think you should come in. Hi. Oh, hi, Lindy. Um, a thumbs up would be nice if anybody wanted to throw that out there. Um, <laughs> thank you, Miss Gunther. <laughs> And thank you, Jamie. I love cussing. She's fun. Um, a lot of people <laughs> don't like it, but it's just like, why not? It's just a word. Ooh, yeah, Maddie. That's now you know. Now you know. I can only imagine. Ooh, if it persists, yeah, I would go to urgent care for real. Um, yeah, like water, beautiful, beautiful water, purified, beautiful. Um, if you have any questions, shoot them out. I'll answer them real quick. But other than that, I will be letting you guys go. Uh, thank you for coming to my haul. Excuse me. It was very long. $108 later. And I appreciate you guys. I, nobody has any questions, right? Y'all got them out? My nose itches. I learned last week that there are different types of uh, bottled water. Um, one being spring water, which is this nasty shit that I bought. And two being uh, like purified water, which is what I should have bought. Because this shit tastes like tap water. And I'm kind of pissed. I mean, it's only like $3 and something for a case of water. But it's like, y'all are selling me bullshit. Like, it should really be illegal for them to be able to do this. This literally tastes like my tap water. It's not right. It's not right at all. Um, I put it in the fridge to try to make it better. But what can we do? Gonna let y'all go. Really do appreciate y'all uh, spending your Monday night with me. I will be listing these items all throughout the week. I listed 70 items last week when usually I only list like 30, 40 items a week. So I should be able to get all these up. Motivation and energy has been higher than usual. So, um, Jamie, why would you tell me that? They probably got this shit. From my sink and packaged it and resold it to me. That shit's disgusting. It's really gross. I mean, it's not that gross, but it's just like I paid for this. Like, I paid money for this. And it tastes like my tap water. And we don't pay water. <laughs> yeah, it's spring water. That's sick. Water is an essential part of life. Replenish and hydrate your body. Kiss my ass, Aldi. This shit's disgusting. Um, I know I need to. I used to have a Brita, but I need I need to get another Brita because then I'll just do that again. I usually make lemon water, but they don't have lemons at Aldi right now when I go because I don't know they're out of season or some random shit like that. Something that's above me. Um, so I've been buying these because I still need to drink water. My tap water's gross, but I actually just buy a Brita. Maybe next time I go to Target. Um, oh yeah, I hate taxes. I don't even want to think about it. I don't even want to think about it. I don't even want to think about it. <laughs> I did my taxes last year by myself. I ended up owing, it's a little over a thousand, but they had taken my federal refund so thankfully they had like taken 500 um, already or some shit. But, and then I think I filed my taxes on like the last day you could file your taxes. So then I had to get an extension and you you can only get an extension like once every five years or some shit like that. <laughs> so now it's like, I have to pay off my taxes in full this time. 
Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, my goodness. I heard, yeah, there's filters for your thing. My friend has one. I need to get one of those. Get an actual filter for my, um, my faucet. You get an extension every year? So, did... Maybe they lied to me then on the things. They really did have me spooked. It was like, you can only get an extension once every five years. And I'm like, shit, well, I don't have $850 for y'all. So, <laughs> uh, you got your, I know everybody's getting their refunds back already, but that's because you have a W-2, Ashton. We are self-employed over here. I'm going to owe them money. I don't want to do that. I am going to work for, um, I'm supposed to work for the census trainings the last week of March, um, being an enumerator, like going door to door. So I'm happy about that though, because then that means next year I'll have a W2 and then they can take my refund from that and put it towards my money I owe from reselling. <sighs> okay. I've talked enough. This has been a great live. I really, really, really really do appreciate y'all coming to talk with your girl um i'm gonna look into getting an extension because i guess they lied to me on the screen um but i hope you guys enjoy the rest of your night um make good choices whatever that may be whatever you feel comfortable with maybe get some listings up maybe don't it's your life i'm just here I'm just here to show you the random shit I bought a couple days ago to sell. Yesterday to sell. Um, but I'm going to be going now. I will see you guys next Monday. Probably not with a 70 item haul. I really hope not. Because I don't have any more room. I don't, I don't have any more room. So, um, I don't, yeah, I just, I just, I'm just thinking about bringing 70 more items into my home. Good night. Love you guys. Make good choices. And I will see you next Monday. Peace out.